So how do you tell what data apps are collecting on you? you know, what are they actually collecting when you download an app? If you own a Mac, I'm gonna show you an easy way to check that out, an easy way to always get to that part where you can see exactly the data they're collecting. Let's go. All right, so in today's world, you know, everyone's trying to get your information from you. So, and uh, obviously it's a constant fight to protect yourself out there. I'd rather be, you know, sitting somewhere on a nice island right now like that with no technology around me if I could do it. But at the end of the day, you know, you have all this technology you use on a daily basis. You're downloading all these apps. You hear of cool apps and everything else. So how do you really protect yourself from these kind of crazy criminals out there? And you know who the, <laughs> you know who they are and you know who they are as well. But you just are really difficult because these, these companies create these apps. They, they, they kind of you know, grab all your data is, you know, as much as they can get without having you really you know, know about it. And then they try to sell it to third parties or other, you know, sometimes even worse, to generate some profit for themselves. So when you download an app, there's one way really that's really easy and Apple's made this very easy. So I'm gonna concentrate now. You can do this with um, you know, iOS, but I'm gonna concentrate on Mac OS. So if you have a Mac and you wanna go ahead and you're downloading apps uh, from the App Store and you wanna know exactly what this is you know, collecting, why are they collecting you know, all the information, there's one spot to get that I'll show you it's a very you know kind of a very quick video I'll just show you what it's all about here and uh, and then anytime you download that app you'll know exactly what they're doing it's um it's required by Apple there's a format that they have to follow so you know it's going to be accurate as long as they're telling the truth so let's get into it really quickly I'll show you how to do this quick video but you know something like this could really you know save you a lot all right, so if you've pulled up the App Store like I have here, you can see it. This is just the normal Apple App Store. The easiest place to find this, now Apple's really made it so that all people that submit apps to the App Store, they need to follow these guidelines. So these are always gonna be in the same place. So let's go ahead and show you where it is first, and I'm gonna show you a little bit more about it. So very first thing you wanna see here is let's just click on any of these. I mean, I can pick any program here because they're all gonna be in the same spot. When you're actually gonna download a program or an application like this, you can see it here. What you wanna do is you wanna scroll down towards the bottom of this page here, when, once you click on it, scroll all the way down, and you're gonna see right in here, see how it says privacy policy with the little hand there? That's gonna be where it is on all apps. So just, let me just go ahead and prove that to you. So I'm gonna go back here really quickly. We're gonna pick day one, it's a completely different one. And uh, you can see here's all the app information, you can see all about the app. Scroll down, there it is, privacy policy right there. So again, any app that you pick, any app that you search for, if I search for an app like over here, cars, I mean, I'm just picking anything I can even think of. So I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, this is a game here. I'm gonna scroll down in the game right there. See it there, privacy policy. So that's where you're always gonna find it. All right, so really quickly, let's break down what the data means. It's probably self-explanatory, but let's just go through it in two seconds and then we'll end the video. Okay, let's go ahead and see what that page actually includes. So we're gonna just click on any app here. Let's go ahead and click on this one. And you can see this is actually a pretty bad app, 2.9 out of five. But as I said earlier, you scroll down here and at the very bottom here, you see privacy policy. We click on that and voila, there it is. Basically, it's gonna pull up in this page. And I'll show you here in a second. It's always the same with this. So it's gonna say that if you download this app or if you download store information or you buy something from them, you know, this is what they're gonna do. As you scroll down though, it says, what information about me is collected and stored? So it's gonna say all right here, our website uses browser cookies in order to gather information on usage patterns. Our software may, with your permission, send us statistics about the UC below. Our servers maintain industry standard logs of their activity, web page visits, including IP addresses. So it's gonna tell you some information here. How we use the information we collect, this is really important. We may use your information to provide you with important information about the product or services. Um, we do not use your information internally to understand how people use the website services. Um, it says, I'm sorry, we do use it. In the event that we wish to publicly post any of your personal information on a website, we will contact you the, for the details. So, I mean, this gets pretty deep. I mean, you can see here, it's going through a lot of different information. It's even gonna say, how long do we collect this? And uh, what steps are taken to keep personal information and customer data protected even? And this is all just for this one, one just application. It's all very unique to it. If you go down here, passwords, governing law. So this is a really good way to get all this information. All right, let's look at one more app just really quickly. Let's do Affinity Publisher. This is a very common app. A lot of people know about this one, a very good app, 4.5. Just like I said, scroll down over here, privacy policy, click on it. Now this is gonna be, they're all filled out a little bit differently. Look at this one, privacy policy for Affinity. But it's gonna be very, you know, very similar in the sense, but they're gonna just lay it out a little bit differently. So definitions, it tells you what data subject and personal data mean, who controls the personal data that is collected, it's gonna have information about that. And then it's gonna say, how do we collect personal data on our website and in in, inside of our applications? So consent, contract, legitimate interests. So 
how do we process and store your personal data is in here as well. Where do we store personal data? You know, it's going to say that we store all personal data via our website and in, by Amazon located in the Republic of Ireland. So you know where your data is. It's going to have payment information. And then if you go down, this is, again, a little bit differently, but it's going to, you know, if you keep scrolling down, it's going to have just tons of information all the way down to cookies and, uh, you know, what is used on our website. So this is a little bit more in depth than the last one I showed you. So all of them, all of them are going to be a little bit different, but you can see, look at this, there's just tons of information, third-party cookies, you name it. It's going to have all the information that you need on this page. So definitely follow that rule. And this is where you always find that really good data to protect yourself. So what do you think? Hopefully this helps a lot of people. So obviously with your data going out every direction, it's hard to keep control over it. So what I like to do is I like to keep my apps kind of, I only download certain apps, I do a little research on them and I use this link to see exactly what they're, you know, what they're using, what information they're going to use or collect from me. You know, obviously it's not a, an end all and, and the safest thing you can do. I mean, there's a lot of other things you can do out there, but this is one just step I take to help me, you know, make sure that I'm actually not getting, you know, they're not taking some information that I don't want. And if I feel uneasy after reading it, I sometimes just don't download the app because I don't need most of the apps anyway. And uh, it limits me from, you know, just trying these rogue apps that I've never heard of. So anyways, that's just my tip. Go ahead and check this out. I hope it helps people. Stay safe out there. Everyone's, you know, really trying to get your data, you know, number one for just selling it to other third parties to make money on. And number two, you just don't know why they want that sometimes. So protect yourself. Um, and I hope this, you know, just helps those people that may not be that technical because it's an easy way to get that information. So please support my channel. It's a small channel. I make videos like you see, you know, just a couple, maybe three to four a week sometimes. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Next one coming out soon. Peace.